A legion ended years ago. Since then, we've had a major faction conflict. We've had an entire journey into the afterlife with the Shadowlands. And five years later, we are now going into the Dragon Isles. However, throughout this entire time, which has been what now? Close to 10 years. Dalaran has just been floating around on the Broken Isles, even though the Broken Isles are not relevant whatsoever. What has the Kirin Tor been up to by this point? Are they going to just remain there? Or is it time for them to return back to the Eastern Kingdoms and to finally rebuild the city back to its former glory? So the Dalaran is no longer just a floating magic military base. And what would this rebuilt Dalaran look like? <laughs> A lot of people see Dalaran as this player hub and really this floating aspect of the city has become iconic at this point. They literally made Dalaran floating in the Warcraft movie even though it is the first war in question. But this is only a recent and a really recent development. For most of its history and keep in mind this is thousands of years of history, Dalaran has been one of the most prominent human kingdoms. Think of it something like a really really powerful city state and it has been the most prominent place in the Eastern Kingdom when it came to magic. Both elves and humans were a part of its history and if you wanted to do anything magic related, Dalaran was the place to be. Now, don't get me wrong though, Dalaran was not a university town, a college city where people came to learn and then just to do their own thing. This was a place of power as well as exceptional influence as well as learning. That was really an addition. Here, the guardians of Tiraspol, the really powerful mages that were in charge of protecting the world were present with the so-called Council of Six. From Delren, threats and incursions to Azeroth were observed, expeditions sent to protect the planet, many powerful artifacts and secrets were kept in this place, and all this was until Artis decided to destroy it back in Warcraft 3, and it was, for one of the reasons, because of these powerful artifacts. Now, I'm not going to give you a full on lore lesson on this, but here is a very quick timeline of things. Delren was a pretty big, large and powerful city with surrounding areas. Artis came in and pretty much destroyed most of it, killing the leader Antonidas in the process. Then some human resistance came back with Geratos and maybe a smaller part of the Kirin Tor, although we don't really know how influential they had been at this point. Then Geratos did the entire thing with Keltos where he baited him and then imprisoned him in Dalaran and almost got rid of the Blood Elves completely. <laughs> However, don't get me wrong, Dalaran was not really active as a city at this point. Some parts remained which were useful such as prisons, but this place was overall just a complete mess. It was destruction filled with self-proclaimed warlord using parts of it and a bunch of experiments just running around and overall just the best word to describe this place would be chaos. Well some time would pass, things would settle down and the time of World of Warcraft would begin. At this point what remained of the Kirin Tor and the citizens of Dalaran, they decided to do their best to preserve the city. So they erected this massive really powerful magical barrier that would destroy anyone that tried to pass it. And they managed to maintain what remained of the once glorious city and more than likely rebuilt certain parts of it during this decade or so. No one really knows how much time has passed exactly. Then the northern invasion became a thing and Dalaran was magically airlifted and transported to the Crystal Song Forest. It was literally physically ripped from the earth leaving only a massive crater in the ground and the core of the city was sent to Northred. There it was almost immediately attacked by the rogue blue dragon fight but ultimately it became our main base of operations. Then, after we did a bunch of things in Northland involving Yogg-Saron and the Lich King, Dalaran had been maintained and slightly rebuilt. Then, it was transferred to the Deadwind Pass to defend the Eastern Kingdoms against the Burning Legion invasion, and ultimately it was once again airlifted and teleported with a spell to the Broken Isles, where it has been instrumental in us defeating Sargeras. Since this point, the city has just been stuck in time on the Broken Isles. Now, what I really want you to keep in mind is that Dalaran that you know as a hub and a floating city is literally just nothing compared to what this place used to be. In fact, we have mainly used it as a military base for our campaigns. Of course, in game and lore never really compare. In the lore, Goldshire has like 10k citizens, but 
in a game. There are like three buildings there and a caravan and like a dozen NPCs. However, I would say in the case of Deloran, this is a bit more of an accurate representation. The floating Deloran is mainly just the core of the city that remained and the Kinentor, I would guess, mainly rebuilt the most important and the most necessary buildings. But Deloran as a regular city and a kingdom was a lot, lot larger. Think of it something close to Stormy now. I'm not saying lore Stormwind with like millions of people, but just imagine something like in-game Stormwind. So the question is, since nothing was said at Deloran to teleport to the Dragon Isles, and at this point it is just not doing anything, should this place finally return back home and rebuild after decades of destruction, and what would this major process look like? So, a really interesting thing to note is that there has actually been a bit of progression, as in Kirin Tor sending a mission to the crater of Dalaran that remains in the northern eastern kingdoms, in order to work on rebuilding the remains. So, interestingly enough, years ago, they had already started working on what was left that was not airlifted with the teleportation. This could mean two things in my opinion. Either they're building a new Dalaran there and they intend to continue to keep the current one mobile and flexible, or they are setting up the ground for Deloran to return and to finish the rebuilding process. In my opinion, both of these would be really interesting and could provide a lot of opportunity for some just great development. So immediately, let's look at the case of a new Deloran being built. In my opinion, this could definitely be practical, although obviously a lot more expensive. I'm guessing they would never be able to build a completely new Deloran from scratch in its former glory, but honestly, I don't really think they need to do that. The geopolitical scene has changed just insanely drastically over the past few decades, and the human kingdoms are not really that much of a thing aside from Stormwind, so having a really big magical one would not be of crucial relevance in the Eastern Kingdoms. However, if Gilnea gets rebuilt and this has been incredibly hinted at and retaken by the alliance, a neutral Deloran could be a good counterweight to maintain peace between the two factions as a neutral city. Although, in my opinion, this would definitely be a smaller city that would serve as the head of the Kirin Tor. In regards to the current Deloran that we have, I think that would be incredibly practical as living on Azeroth is just dangerous and there are constantly things that are just, you know, jumping out of nowhere, invading out of nowhere and they're just trying to destroy us. First Northrend, then Broken Isles, then the New Islands, then the Dragon Ones. There are big threats going out there. So having a big base of operations that can unite both factions and serve as a state ground for planetary defense that is also mobile would definitely be a really valuable asset. On the other hand, let's look at what would happen if Deloran that we know of returns back to the crater and is no longer mobile. In my opinion, this could only work if an expansion happened after that would make this northern part of the eastern kingdoms relevant, as I really don't think it would be useful to just build a city for no reason if the zones are not important in the current expansion and Blizzard would, without a doubt, not allocate the resources for this. However, seeing that there are talks of Gilneas returning, something going on with Undercity, potential hints with the Scarlet Crusade Crusade, Awakening, and maybe even the entire Tyrellian Lighting, Blizzard could easily make this place relevant once again, and that would 100% justify Deloran returning back to the original place. It is possible that the Kirin Tor mission rebuilt the surrounding parts of the crater, maybe even the walls, and now the core could return to once again become a regional power. In my opinion, Deloran would remain neutral, but it could become an actual city, as opposed to just a floating fortress slash military base. I honestly doubt it would even be rebuilt back to what it once was, but this could be a really interesting turn of events as we never had actually seen the Kingdom of Dalaran in its full glory. However, I think the only way this could happen in a game is if we get an expansion that is relevant to the zone, and with the cross factions, I doubt it will ever again become an alliance kingdom, and will more than likely remain neutral, especially after the defeat of Sylvanas and all the things that happened with the battle for Azeroth. Thank you for watching! Check out what will New Gilnaus look like by clicking on the screen and also check out the Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time!